Every indie dev knows the struggle, finding production-ready 3D assets that are both high-quality and royalty-free. Today, we'll demonstrate how Meshi supercharges our workflow, from AI-generated prototypes to polished, cell-shaded assets ready for Unity. Let's dive in. First, we use Meshi to generate our 3D models. The platform lets us create high-quality assets with optional baked lighting. For stylized workflows like ours, we usually go with the unlit texture to have more control in post-processing. Once the model is ready, we download it as an FBX or OBJ file with its corresponding texture maps. Then, we import it directly into Cinema 4D. We're using Octane Render for Cinema 4D, which supports toon shading. We begin by adding a toon point light to the scene. This gives us more artistic control over how the shadows and highlights behave. Next, we convert the model's default materials to Octane materials. Under Material Type, we choose Cell. This unlocks options specific to NPR-style rendering, including outlines and simplified shading. In the Tune Material settings, we adjust the outline color and thickness to match our desired art direction. This step defines the visual identity of the asset, whether we want a sharp comic book style or a soft anime look. We fine-tune the material properties like specularity, roughness, and bump. Here, we reuse the color texture from Meshi as a base, and sometimes layer on additional procedural textures for more visual detail. We can even use projection mapping to customize surface behavior. If we want to export to game engines like Unity, baking the materials is essential. This step ensures our stylized look remains intact in real-time rendering. Alternatively, we can recreate the tune shading inside Unity using similar settings and unlit shaders. In our current game, The Envoy Chu, we built two distinct environments. A trading sanctuary where players meet NPCs and floating islands for material collection. Many props in the trading sanctuary, like Buddha statues, cranes, and traditional masks, are hard to find as free, license-free assets. Meshi helps us generate these quickly, complete with texture maps. Then, we bring them into C4D and apply our Toon Shader preset. For the floating island zone, we needed animated enemies like tree spirits. With Meshi's animate feature, we can rig the model automatically and apply preset animations like attack, idle, or defeat all in just a few clicks. Meshi drastically shortens our asset creation time, from prop modeling to character animation. Whether we're working in Cinema 4D or preparing for Unity, it gives us full control over our stylized game vision. For anyone pursuing a 3D to 2D workflow, Meshi is a game changer. Thanks for watching. If you found this workflow helpful or inspiring, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment about your favorite part. See you in the next Project Showcase.